एग्जाम्पल इज अ मैन स्टैंडिंग ऑन द डेक ऑफ अ शिप विच इज टेन मीटर अबव वॉटर लेवल ओके सो वी विल ड्रॉ डायग्राम विद दिस स्टेटमेंट ओके सो वॉट इज गिवन अ मैन स्टैंडिंग ऑन द डेक ऑफ अ शिप विच इज टेन मीटर अबव वॉटर लेवल ओके सो सपोज दिस बी सी दिस इज वॉटर लेवल ओके मैन स्टैंडिंग ऑन द डेक ऑफ अ शिप विच इज टेन मीटर अबव वॉटर लेवल ओके सो ए बी दैट इज अ डेक हाइट ऑफ डेक विच इज गिवन टेन मीटर अ मैन स्टैंडिंग ऑन डेक ऑफ शिप दैट इज अट पॉइंट ए देन वॉट इज गिवन ही ऑब्जर्व द एंगल ऑफ इलिवेशन ऑफ द टॉप ऑफ अ हिल ओके सो सी डी दिस इज हिल ओके देन वॉट इज गिवन द एंगल ऑफ elevation of the top of a hill as 60 degree from this point okay so i am drawing here horizontal level okay this is horizontal level from this point angle of elevation to the top of a hill is given 60 degree so this angle is 60 degree so this is 60 degree then what is given next angle of depression of the base of the hill as 30 degree so this is horizontal level this one and angle of depression so this angle is given 30 degree okay this is horizontal level and angle of depression to the base of the hill is 30 degree okay so this angle is 30 degree okay so if this is 30 degree these two are parallel lines this angle is a 30 degree okay now here we give name that is a e so if ab is 10 meter this ce also 10 meter and we have to suppose that this de height as a h okay so total cd height that is a height of hill so cd is equal to h plus 10 so first we have to find this h and we have to also find distance between ship and hill okay so this bc distance also we have to find okay now i am supposing this bc distance as a x so therefore this distance also x a e okay so i am writing all these distances cd is equal to height of hill okay which is equal to h plus 10 then this d distance is equal to h bc is equal to a e is equal to x okay now we have to take triangles okay so first i am taking this triangle triangle d e a okay draw this angle is a right angle okay so in triangle d e a tan 60 degree is equal to d e upon a okay d e upon ए ई टेन सिक्सटी इज रूट थ्री डी वैल्यू इज एच ए इज एक्स सो एच इज इक्वल टू रूट थ्री एक्स दिस इज फर्स्ट इक्वेशन ओके देन इन ट्राइंगल ए बी सी इन ट्राइंगल ए बी सी टेन थर्टी डिग्री is equal to tan 30 so this is opposite side that is ab by bc so ab by bc ab is equal to 10 meter bc is x and tan 30 value is 1 by root 3 so ab that is a 10 bc that is a x so x value we will get from this x is equal to 10 root 3 meter okay so x means distance between ship and hill 
that is a 10 root 3 meter and if we put this value here we will get height of the hill not height of the hill that is a hd height of the hill is h plus 10 okay so h that is a root 3 into x so root 3 into 10 root 3 that is a root 3 into root 3 3 and 3 into 10 30 so h is equal to 30 meter so height of the hill is cd so cd is equal to h plus 10 that is a 30 plus 10 is equal to 40 meter okay so height of the hill is 40 meter and distance between this distance distance between the sheep and hill okay distance from the sheep to hill to the hill is this x distance that is a 10 root 3 meter okay understand this one we have to draw here horizontal level one angle is the angle of elevation to the top of the hill another angle is the angle of depression to the bottom of the hill okay so this is second one example is a vertical tower stands on a horizontal plane and it's surmounted by a vertical flag staff of height h okay so first we draw figure by using this statement okay what is given a vertical tower stands on a horizontal plane okay so this is vertical tower so b c this is a vertical tower stands on a horizontal plane and it's surmounted by a vertical flag staff of height h okay so this is a tower okay suppose this is x so here i am writing bc that is a tower and of height x okay then flag staff is surmounted on a horizon uh, on a vertical tower so ab is a flag staff of height h given okay flag staff at a uh, flag staff of height h it is given okay so ab that is a flag staff of height h okay then what is next given at a point on the plane so one point is there on the plane suppose this point is o the angle of elevation of the bottom and the top of the flag stuff so a b is flag stuff what is given angle of elevation to the bottom of flag stuff and top of flag stuff so this angle is given alpha okay bottom and the top of the flag stuff are alpha and beta respectively so this angle is alpha and from the same point angle of elevation to the top of the flag stuff that is this angle okay this angle is given beta okay now what we have to prove the height of the tower is h tan alpha upon tan beta minus tan alpha okay means this total sorry this bc height of the tower bc is the height of tower ab is the height of flag stuff we have to show that this x is equal to h tan alpha upon tan beta minus tan alpha okay and we have to suppose that this oc is equal to y okay this oc is equal to y okay now we will take trigonometric ratios first in triangle ocb in triangle 
O C B tan alpha is equal to B C upon O C tan alpha is equal to B C value is x O C value is a y. Okay, so tan alpha is equal to x by y. Okay, we can keep as it is or we can write x is equal to y tan alpha. Okay. Or keep as it is. Now we, after we will after that we will decide this. So next in triangle O C A in triangle O C A tan beta is equal to A C upon O C A C upon O C. So tan beta is equal to A C value is h plus x upon O C value is y. Okay. Now we don't want this y. Okay. So we have to remove this y. So how we will remove by using this? What is the value of y? Y is equal to x upon tan alpha. Okay. So this value of y we have to put here. Okay, so if we put value of y here, tan beta is equal to h plus x upon value of y is x upon tan alpha. Okay, so if we multiply this here, we will get x upon tan alpha into this tan beta. Is equal to h plus x. Okay. Now we have to show that this height of tower means x that is equal to h tan alpha upon tan beta minus tan alpha. Okay. So this x or x tan alpha into tan beta we have to shift here. Okay. So what we have x tan beta. Upon tan alpha, or this x shift here, that is easy. So x tan al tan beta upon tan alpha minus x is equal to h. So if we simplify this, x take common tan beta minus tan alpha upon tan alpha. Okay. Is equal to h. Here I am taking x common and make same denominator. Okay. So if I am taking x common, what is remain? Tan beta upon tan alpha minus one. So if we make same denominator, tan beta minus tan alpha upon tan alpha is equal to h. Okay. Now we have to find value of x. So this term we have to shift here. So here tan alpha it is in denominator. If we shift here, it is in numerator. So that is h. Tan alpha divided by tan beta minus tan alpha. If we shift here, it is in denominator. So it is tan beta minus tan alpha. Okay. So we will get height of tower that is a h tan alpha upon. Sorry, height of tower is x. So we will get height of tower is h tan alpha upon tan beta minus tan alpha. Okay. So this we can write height of this tower. Huh? Height of tower is equal to h tan alpha upon tan beta minus tan alpha. Okay. So this is height of tower. Okay. Now we will take next example. Next example is. The angles of elevation of the top of a tower from two points at distances a and b meters from the base and in the same straight line with it are complementary. Okay. So first we draw diagram. What is given? The angles of elevation of the top of tower from two points. Okay. So this is tower first A B. Okay. So side by side, write this also. AB is equal to height of tower. Okay, this height we have to suppose at h. 
height of tower is equal to h then what is given next uh, angles of elevation of the top of tower from two points at distances a and b meters from the base okay so first we have to suppose that suppose c point is here having distance a from the base of the tower and another point d is here okay what is given from the two points at distances a and b meters from the base so okay so first point is a meters c that that is c point that is a meters from the base another point is d that is a b meter from the base and angles of elevation from this point from this two points to the top of a tower are complementary angles okay means if we take this angle as a theta this angle is a 90 minus theta okay so this is diagram of this question okay now we have to show that height of the tower h is equal to root a b meter okay so first i am writing here distances that is a c is equal to a meter a d is equal to b meter okay then if we take this triangle triangle c a b so in triangle c a b tan theta is equal to a b upon a c okay a b upon a c so tan theta is equal to a b is equal to h a c is equal to a okay so tan theta is equal to h upon a then next in triangle d a b in triangle d a b tan now this angle is 90 minus theta because these two are complementary so if this is theta this is 90 minus theta okay so tan of 90 minus theta is equal to okay so this a b upon a d opposite side by adjacent side so a b by a d okay now we know that tan 90 minus theta that is a cot theta okay and a b is h a d is b so cot theta is equal to h upon b so if we suppose that this is equation one this is equation two okay so if we have to show that height of tower is equal to root a b meters we have to multiply this two okay Be because if we multiply this two tan theta and cot theta are reciprocal of each other so that will get cancelled and we will get h is equal to root a b okay so multiplying equation 1 and 2 okay so tan theta into cot theta when we multiply two equation multiply this by side by side okay so tan theta into cot theta is equal to rhs into this rhs that is h by a into h by b okay now tan theta into cot theta is equal to 1 upon tan theta so this is 1 upon tan theta is equal to h into h h square upon a b so this will get cancelled 1 is equal to h square upon a b so h square is equal to a b h is equal to root a b okay this is distance so it is positive square root okay so h is equal to root a b so height of tower that is a root a b meters okay so this is root a b meters okay understand this next example is 
if the angles of elevation of a cloud from a point h meters above a lake is alpha okay so we will draw diagram simultaneously okay what is given if the angles of elevation of a cloud from a point h meters above a lake okay so suppose this is a lake okay from this point c suppose this is point c angles of elevation of a cloud from a point h meters above a lake okay so this is here it is point d which is h meter above a lake this is lake okay and from this point angle of elevation of a cloud that is a alpha okay so this is horizontal level if suppose cloud is here okay here we give name is c that is a cloud and here we change it is a okay so from this point angle of elevation to the cloud is given it is given alpha so this angle is alpha okay then next one is given and the angle of depression of its reflection in the lake okay so suppose c dash is the reflection of this cloud in the lake and angle of depression from this point is given beta okay so this angle of depression is beta so this is beta okay now what is given from a point d here it is d h meter above a lake the angle of elevation to the cloud is alpha and the angle of depression from the same point to the reflection of cloud in the lake is beta okay here i am giving name b this is e suppose okay so if ad is h this b e also h okay if we suppose that this distance is a uh, x and suppose this distance is y okay or we can suppose that this distance is y means this is also y okay now what we have to show that height of the cloud is so from this point to this point that is the height of the cloud is h into tan beta plus tan alpha upon tan beta minus tan alpha okay now what we have that is if distance of cloud from lake is x plus h okay so we have distance ce that is a x plus h okay so if c distance is x plus h distance of reflection from the point e that is a from lake is same okay means c distance and c dash e distance that is a same distance so if c is x plus h c dash e that is also x plus h okay because we know that distance of object from a point suppose and distance of reflection of that object from the same point is same so if this distance is x plus h c dash e distance also x plus h okay so c e is equal to x plus h is equal to c dash e okay now we have to take two triangles that is a triangle d b c and triangle d b c dash okay so in triangle d b c okay 
so in this example most important point is this distance c is equal to x plus h then c dash e also x plus h okay and then it is easy to solve this example okay now first i am considering triangle dbc okay so in triangle dbc tan alpha is equal to bc upon bd okay so bc is x bd we have to suppose that y so tan alpha is equal to x upon y okay then in triangle dbc dash tan beta that is equal to now if we take this tan beta it is equal to bc uh, bc dash upon bd okay that is a bc dash upon bd okay now tan beta is equal to bc dash that is a b plus e c dash okay so this we can write b e plus e c dash upon bd is equal to y okay so from this we will get tan beta is equal to b is h plus e c dash that is a x plus h and divided by y so tan beta is equal to that is a 2h plus x upon y okay now from this what is the value of y y is equal to x upon tan alpha okay if we simplify this y is equal to x upon tan alpha now put this value here so tan beta is equal to 2h plus x upon x upon tan alpha okay so if we simplify this x upon tan alpha into this tan beta is equal to 2h plus x x shift here so x tan beta upon tan alpha minus x is equal to 2h x take common and simplify so if we take x common tan beta upon tan alpha minus 1 is there if we make same denominator tan beta minus tan alpha upon tan alpha is equal to 2h okay and if we simplify this one so we will get now i am writing this one here so we have x is equal to 2h tan alpha upon tan beta minus tan alpha okay so this is the value of x now we have to find the value of ce so ce that is a x plus h so we have value of x now we have to add in this value h so we will get height of the cloud okay so ce is equal to so here i am writing ce is equal to x plus h that is a x is 2h tan alpha upon tan beta minus tan alpha and plus h okay now i am rubbing this one so i can write next step now here so ce is equal to 2h tan alpha 2h tan alpha if we make same denominator so tan beta minus tan alpha multiply here so plus h into tan beta minus tan alpha divided by tan beta minus tan alpha so 2h tan alpha if we multiply this h inside h tan beta minus h tan alpha divided by tan beta minus 
tan alpha okay so 2h tan alpha minus h tan alpha that is a h tan alpha plus this h tan beta upon tan beta minus tan alpha okay so only take h common so h if we take common what is remain tan alpha plus tan beta upon tan beta minus tan alpha so that is the height of cloud from the lake or above the lake that is a h into tan alpha plus tan beta upon tan beta minus tan alpha okay so another one is means same example is there they can ask only here instead of alpha and beta angles are there that is 30 degree and 60 degree okay and height h is given okay same procedure we have to do first use tan alpha find this x by y then tan beta h plus x plus h upon y find the value of y from both trigonometric ratios and then compare the values of y okay you will get x then add h in that you will get height of the cloud above the water level okay understand this one see once again first i'm using tan alpha in this triangle dbc okay important point is height of the cloud from the water level and height of reflection of cloud below the water level these two distances are same okay so c distance is x plus h therefore c dash e distance also x plus h and then only use tan alpha in both triangles this triangle and this triangle and equate the values of y or put value of y because we don't want y value so if we have to remove this y value uh, put value of y in another equation okay then if we simplify we will get value of x but height of cloud is x plus h so c is equal to x plus h then put here and simplify we will get c is equal to h into tan alpha plus tan beta upon tan beta minus tan alpha okay now we will take next example next example is a round balloon of radius r subtends an angle alpha at the eye of the observer okay so first this is round balloon and what is given having radius is r suppose if we take center is o uh, subtends an angle alpha at the eye of the observer okay means if we draw this to tangents at point p suppose then at point p it is an eye of an observer and this angle is given alpha so this is alpha if we join this center o and this point p okay then what is next given while the angle of elevation of its center is beta okay so from this point center angle of elevation to the center is beta okay so if we draw this perpendicular ol this angle is a beta angle of elevation to the center of an of a balloon okay now we have to find that or we have to show that height of the center of the balloon is r sin beta cosec alpha by 2 okay means this ol height we have to show that it is a r sin beta cosec alpha by 2 okay now if i am joining this one these two are tangents p a and p b okay these two are tangent okay so from this triangle triangle p b o or take this p a o if you join this then 
if we find value of op so how we will get value of op so in triangle pob this angle we know that angle between the radius and tangent is 90 degree so in triangle pob now this angle angle o p b this angle is a alpha by 2 or angle o p a this angle is alpha by 2 so first we will write this angle b p a is equal to alpha so angle b p o is equal to angle a p o is equal to alpha by 2 okay now next in triangle bpo if we take sin alpha by 2 is equal to means this so this triangle we have to consider triangle b p o so in this triangle sin alpha by 2 is equal to ob upon op because this angle is a right angle so op is the hypotenuse so ob upon op okay ob is the radius that is r so sin alpha by 2 is equal to r divided by op so op is equal to r upon sin alpha by 2 so op is equal to r so here sin alpha by 2 it is in denominator so 1 upon sin alpha by 2 that is a cosec alpha by 2 so value of op that is a r cosec alpha by 2 now next we have to consider triangle olp okay so in triangle olp sin beta is equal to now this angle is a beta okay what is given angle of elevation from this point is given beta okay angle of elevation of center of balloon from point p is beta given okay so sin beta is equal to ol upon op okay ol upon op so sin beta is equal to ol divided by op is r cosec alpha by 2 okay so ol is equal to r cosec alpha by 2 into sin beta this is the value of ol that is r cosec alpha by 2 into sin beta okay and ol is the height of balloon or height of the center of the balloon from plane okay so this is height ol is equal to or we can rearrange this r sin beta into cosec alpha by 2 okay so here first what is given a round balloon of radius r subtends an angle alpha at the eye of the observer okay means angle between these two tangent that is a pa and pb these two are tangents and angle between these two tangent is given alpha okay and what is given next angle of elevation of its center that is a beta so from this point angle of elevation of its center of balloon is beta so this angle is a beta okay so if we use this we will get height of center of balloon is r sin beta into cosec alpha by 2 okay now we will take next example next example is a straight highway leads to the foot of a tower means a tower is there a man standing at the top of the tower observes a car at an angle of depression of 30 degree okay so we will draw first diagram okay here tower is there suppose a b that is a tower okay this is highway then what is given a man standing on the top of the tower so man is here at point a uh, observes the car at an angle of depression of 30 degree which is approaching to the foot of the tower okay so suppose car is here and angle of depression is 30 degree so this is horizontal level 
okay and angle of depression is 30 degree so this angle is 30 degree so if this is 30 degree this angle also 30 degree okay these two lines are parallel this is transversal so alternate angles are equal so this angle is a 30 degree okay now next sentence is which is approaching to the foot of the tower with a uniform speed six seconds later the angle of depression of the car is found to be 60 degree okay so six seconds later suppose this car reached to the point d so what is given this angle of depression is 60 degree means this angle is 60 degree okay so if this is 60 this angle is a 60 degree okay now what we have to find find the further time taken by the car to reach the foot of the tower okay means from point c to point d car reach in 6 seconds okay so we have to find the time taken by the car from point d to point b okay so we have to suppose that speed of car that is a x meter per second okay then time taken by the car to cover distance cd is 6 seconds so how we find distance cd we know that speed is equal to distance upon time so distance is equal to speed into time so speed is x distance is uh, sorry time is 6 seconds so x into 6 that is a 6x so cd is equal to 6x so this distance we get 6x okay now we suppose that time to cover distance bd is t okay so suppose or let time to cover distance bd is t minute okay or second because here it is in given second so it is t second okay so here uniform speed is there so speed of car is x and time is t so distance bd we will get that is a x into t speed into time okay so bd distance we will get x t okay then height of tower we have to suppose that h okay we don't want this but here we have to suppose that height of tower is h okay now we have to take two triangles triangle abd and triangle abc okay so i am considering first in triangle abd tan 60 is equal to now here tan 60 that is a ab upon bd so ab upon bd tan 60 we know that root 3 is equal to ab is h divided by bd is xt so h is equal to root 3 into xt okay next in triangle now consider this triangle triangle abc so in triangle abc tan 30 is equal to this total ab upon bc okay ab upon bc tan 30 is 1 by root 3 ab that is a h and bc is equal to bd plus cd that is a xt plus 6x or we can write 6x plus xt okay so we will get value of h is equal to 6x plus xt divided by root 3 okay now if we equate these values so if i am giving equation 1 and 2 from 1 and 2 from 1 and 2 we can write or here this one i am writing here okay
फ्रॉम वन एंड टू वी हैव रूट थ्री एक्स टी इज इक्वल टू सिक्स एक्स प्लस एक्स टी अपॉन रूट थ्री नाउ दिस रूट थ्री मल्टीप्ले हेयर सो रूट थ्री इंटू रूट थ्री थ्री एक्स टी इज इक्वल टू सिक्स एक्स प्लस एक्स टी सो थ्री एक्स टी माइनस एक्स टी दैट इज अ टू एक्स टी इज इक्वल टू सिक्स एक्स सो दिस एक्स विल गेट कैंसल सिक्स बाय टू इज थ्री सो टी इज इक्वल टू थ्री सेकेंड्स ओके सो टाइम टू कवर दिस डिस्टेंस बी डी इज थ्री सेकेंड ओके सो सिमिलरली दे कैन आस्क स्पीड ऑल्सो और दे कैन आस्क डिस्टेंस ऑल्सो बी डी डिस्टेंस ओके